Moving away from the Olympics, there is some other tennis action happening in the US, in Washington. We've got a men's and women's event happening right now. And I want to speak about the Brit, Emma Raducanu, because she won her first match. But people are talking about one thing right now, and that is her versus Judy Murray. That's right. So for those who have been hiding under a rock these last few months at Wimbledon, Andy Murray signed up to play mixed doubles with Emma Raducanu. Raducanu said it was a real honour and she was looking forward to it being part of the final time Andy Murray was ever going to step out to centre court at Wimbledon. Unfortunately, it never materialised. Raducanu pulled out because she was progressing through the singles, citing uh, a bit of injury and fatigue and wanted to prioritise the singles, if we're being honest. And you can understand that. That's what, what happened. I think it was a little bit poor taste considering it is Andy Murray's last ever Wimbledon and she probably should have just played it. I don't think it would have impacted her singles too much, but she didn't. What happened after that is this. So Judy Murray took a swipe at Emma Raducanu on social media and this is what this is what happened. So the tweet was astonishing news that Emma Raducanu has withdrawn from a mixed doubles match with Andy Murray. She's citing soreness in her right wrist. It means Murray has played his last match at Wimbledon. Oh dear! And she, Andy Murray, come to Twitter and wrote, "Yes, astonishing." So throwing some shade on Emma Raducanu. Um, since then. Emma Raducanu has not wanted to comment on it. She said, oh, I didn't even see what Judy Murray tweeted. And probably the best way to play it, move on and leave it there. And I thought the whole situation was completely buried. However, at Washington, Emma Raducanu has taken a swipe back at Judy Murray with the following. So TFO asked Raducanu, would you like to play some mixed doubles? To which she replied, astonishing. Um, so she's keeping this going. I think she just needs to bury it. Come on, let's just move on from it now. I don't think it's a good idea for Emma Raducanu to go after the Murrays. Uh, let's be honest. Andy Murray has been the greatest thing in British sport for a while. Uh, obviously tennis, <laughs> definitely. No one really has come close. And I just think Emma Raducanu should not be picking enemies and wars with the Murrays. Not a good look. Move on from it. And for those saying Judy Murray started it, she didn't really start it. Emma Raducanu pulled out of the doubles, which really led to what happened beyond that. I think it should have been left there at Wimbledon and we shouldn't see more on it. Uh, on a positive note, Emma Raducanu, her projected draw for Washington. She played Mertens already. She beat her. And next, she's got Peyton Stearns, which is going to be happening this evening in the UK. After that, could be Samsonova, Badoza. Kenin's already out. Could then be Kassad Kina in the semis. And a final of either Sabalenka, Jabir or Kalinskaya. Listen, this is actually not a bad draw at all. Um, avoiding Sabalenka and Jabir until a final. Sabalenka's had injury concerns. They're very much winnable matches, these ones. And the, the US Open, Radu Kanu, I mean, would probably clear up this. But let's be honest, she's not won a tournament since winning her first Grand Slam at the US Open. She's not really been so focused on her tennis. We've seen an improvement in 2024. She played well against Mertens the other day. And um, I'm hoping she can go on and do, do, do some good things. This, this, this draw is not so bad. And Emma Raducanu does have a chance to win Washington if she can keep it all together. But there we go. Just a quick news from me. Let me know, what do you make of the Judy Murray versus Emma Raducanu spat? Is it going to keep going? Should Emma Raducanu just leave it completely? Um, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. And of course, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you soon at the Olympics.